Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Let's listen to Zigbee and the Monster, the zebra who trots into trouble. It was the day of the mud water carnival and Zigbee was busy getting ready when his cousin Zara ran in. Oh, oh, Zigbee, she gasped. I've just seen a horrible monster. A monster? asked Zigbee. Yes, wept Zara. With six legs. Let's go and look, said Zigbee. I might know who that is. He fetched his swishy stick and filled a bag with cakes for later. Zigbee led the way to Tiny, the ant's house. He's not my monster, cried Zara. My monster was Spotty. Aha, said Zigbee. I know who that is. The two cousins trotted down the path to a sunny bank. Zigbee tapped it with his swishy stick. Come out, monster, he said sternly. A lizard popped out of a hole. Oh, squeaked Zara. That's not my monster. Mine had a curly tail. Why didn't you say so, said Zigbee. Further on, they heard chattering in the bright leaves overhead. That's no monster, sighed Zara. My monster had lots of sharp white teeth. Zigbee led the way past dark mud pools to the edge of the creek where something was wallowing in the water. Ah! That's not the monster! It's a crocodile! cried Zara. Run! shouted Zigbee. I don't believe you ever saw a monster, said Zigbee crossly. I did, sniffed Zara, and now I'm fed up and hungry. That gives me an idea, said Zigbee, unpacking the cakes. Let's make a trap. Zigbee put out some cakes. They sat and they waited. At last, there was a rustling. And there was the scariest creature Zigbee had ever seen. It had six legs, spots, a curly tail and sharp white teeth. <laughs> That's my monster, Zara cried. They shivered with fright as the monster gobbled the cakes. Then it started to bulge and wobble until... Out tumbled their friends, Bertie Bird and Makia. It's you two, shouted Zigbee. Do you like our carnival costume, giggled Makmir. Just then, Ella, the elephant, arrived. Come on, everyone, she said. We'll be late for the carnival. Soon, Zigbee and Zara were riding through Mudwater Creek. The carnival had begun. Later, McMeer and Bertie won a prize for their costume. They let Zara cuddle it all the way home. The end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. And kids, remember, always be good and kind. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.